All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be freeze drying our onions. These are the yellow granix, although they do look pretty white to me. Um, onions are kind of like the Vidalia. Um, so we got a lot of onions and we'll probably, probably be freeze drying a good portion of, if not half or more, to preserve them. So what we got here is I'm going to be slicing these with this mandolin here. Uh, my wife is going to be using this chopper here, chopping off in little, you know, little, uh, little squares. That way, uh, we'll have a variety of either sliced onions or chopped. Uh, we'll be putting them into these freeze dryer trays here. Now we got these silicone mats that we're going to use just in case. They probably won't stick, of course, but. Uh, It'll make you know clean up for other types of food easier. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the description to where you can get the uh, the silicone mats for your for your uh, harvest right and the extra trays. So we got extra trays. We got five extra trays because we have the large harvest right. It's got five um, uh, five five shelves basically. And so we bought five extra. So while one batch is going, we can get another batch ready. So guys, what we're gonna do here, I'm just gonna slice up some of these onions. My wife's gonna dice them up here and we're gonna just start freeze drying them. Uh, I'll also show you how the freeze dryer works, the basic stuff, it's pretty much, it's, it's, it's all, all automatic. But um, we'll show you how that goes and what, the results of how the onions come out. My wife says I'm not allowed to cut myself. Uh, Gotta make sure your pinkies and everything are all tucked in. If you see red, then you're either cutting red onions or you're in trouble. is doing here we got the small chopper on here this makes it into small pieces which is great for sauteing the previous one chopped them up a little bigger pieces and that's great for soups and things like that All right guys, the next thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna put the uh, onions in the freezer here. Now it's not absolutely necessary to do that, but uh, it does make the uh, freeze drying time a lot shorter that way. The machine will do it for you. It'll ask you when you uh, first put it in there if, you, if your food is uh, pre-frozen or not. Uh, we like to pre-freeze it so the, so the drying time will go a lot faster that way. Now we also put parchment paper or wax paper over everything so that it doesn't stick when it gets closed. All right, so the onions we put in the freezer are frozen. We're ready to put them in the machine here, but what we want to do is pre-freeze the machine. It's gonna get it nice and cold in there. So when we put our, your, whatever you want to dehydrate in there, um, it'll also be cold in a cold chamber. Um, so what we wanna do here, 
Turn the machine on from the back. Um, you have an option to push start or customize. So we're just going to push start. So now it's going to ask you not frozen or pre-frozen. So we're going to put pre-frozen in here. So we're going to push pre-frozen. And now what it's doing is pre-freezing the chamber to 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero Celsius. Uh, once it reaches that, it should take approximately a half hour. It'll, uh, it'll tell you to now put your food into the uh, machine. All right guys, so the machine is done pre-freezing the inside. Uh, it says here, load food into the freezer and close the drain valve. The drain valve is located on the side of the machine here. And when the machine, when you're all done freeze drying, what you would do is open this valve and it'll suck the uh, air back into the chamber. Uh, after that's done, all the water that's in there will start defrosting and the water will drain into a bucket which I have set up underneath this cart. All right, so we're gonna load this up. There's this insulative pillow that, they, that you put here like this. These are your trays. Everything's nice and frosty on the inside, so we're gonna start loading it up now. I'll put a little pillow back. You want to make sure this seal here is clean and there's nothing uh, protruding out. It's got to seal up against this plexiglass. And now they tell you to close the, uh, on here it says to close the drain valve. Now after you close your drain valve, it says continue. And it's pretty much automatic from here on in. All right guys, the drying process is complete. Uh, the screen says here, process complete. Open the drain valve to vent the uh, chamber. And uh, it gives you an option for more drying time. So when you check it, it'll, you can see if it's done or not. If it's still not completely dry, you can put more dry time. There's more options on here. Um, so now we have to check it and there's a vacuum. It's under vacuum right now. We have to open the drain valve let the air back in the chamber, and then we're gonna open the door and check the onions and see if they're, if they're dry or not. All right guys, so this is the drain valve right here, and it goes into a bucket I have in there. So we're gonna open this up slowly and it's gonna suck air back into the chamber, uh, and any water after this defrost will go into this bucket. All right, now we let the air back into the chamber. Now we should be able to open this door, no problem. So you're gonna find some condensation around the seal here. It's pretty cold in there. We're gonna check it out. Oh yeah, they're done. They are crispy and dry. So let me bring these in the kitchen, we'll check them out.
They are very, very crispy. Almost like fluffy air. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. <laughs> but they're very tasty. All right, guys, so what we were going to do is put them in these vacuum seal bags, all the onions, but they are so brittle and, and soft, not soft, but brittle, that once it creates the vacuum in here, they would get all crushed and just turn into powder pretty much. So what we decided to do is put them in the jars. We're just going to can them. We're going to vacuum seal them in the uh, vacuum sealer. And um, that should work out much better for us. So we're going to do that right now. All right, so now we're gonna put the lids on the jars and make sure that the tops of the lids are clean as far as clean from any dust from the, uh, uh, the onions of themselves. And put some lids on there. And then we're gonna put our rings on. Now the lids you want to keep loose, so go to where they're tight, or to where it stops I should say, and then back it off about a quarter turn or so. And then just back it off. And we're going to put these in the machine, in the vacuum sealer. And they will take all the oxygen out of there and seal them. Let me show you how we do that. All right guys, so we're gonna lay our jars with the lids loose now, remember. In here like this. And the other one next to it. Now again, if you haven't watched a video on this machine here, I'll, the link is in the corner here or I'll put it in the description. The seal bar option, I turn that off because we don't need it for this. We're not sealing any uh, bags. All you have to do is close this and it should start. Make sure they're right in the middle. As you can see, it is sealed and it only takes a minute. All right, so I have here a small bowl of warm water. Now to rehydrate these, all you have to do is stick them in water. So I'm gonna grab a few here. Yeah, let's see. A few good pieces. Like that one. That one there. We'll see how these reconstitute. Alright guys, you have to excuse our kitchen. It's a mess right now. We're in the food preparation mode. Uh, but the, the ones I put in water to get uh, reconstituted or rehydrated, um, let me see if I can get close in here. The lighting is bad in here. Real sorry about that. But it's a little, it's, it's not firm like your fresh onion would be. It's uh, mushy, but tastes just like a, a fresh onion. And if you're going to saute it, 
it'll work out just right just good um, so yeah very very good I'm telling you these things are addicting when they're dry I've been snacking on them and snacking on them. You gotta remember these are raw onions, so they're they're powerful, you know. But fantastic flavor. I'm excited to do uh, fruits and vegetables and store those away. Bananas would be great for snacking on. Uh, Freeze-dried bananas, strawberries, all kinds of fruits. Um, so we're gonna be doing a lot of that in the future. This was just kind of like a I don't know a test run or whatever. Uh, to see how it, how it'll work and so far we're real happy with it now this batch that we just pulled out is the first batch we did the, the in the beginning of the video we chopped we did slicing and we chopped them up in squares uh, that batch we're gonna do uh, tomorrow morning but while we were cutting those up this batch that you just saw here was in the freeze dryer running all right so that was pretty amazing guys we got out of eight pounds of onions, we got five jars and they weigh almost nothing. Okay, they're just, like I said, they're like air. Um, I mean, this is, I was so addicted to, to these, just eating them raw, my wife and I. Uh, great sprinkle in your salad. You can rehydrate them, you know, so there's a lot of options you can do with them. Um, one thing though, after you pull them out of the uh, freeze dryer, you have to package them right away, either in bags or in um, any any uh, fr uh, freeze dried food. Food um, you have to immediately after it's freeze dried, put them in cans or put them in mylar bags. Have to be sealed because what happens? These are bone dry. I mean, there is no moisture in there. That's what the freeze dryer does. No moisture. But if your house is humid, depending on how humid it is. They start absorbing the moisture in the air and they'll start getting a little soft on you. So uh, very important immediately when they're done dehydrating you package them or seal them up in jars like this uh, so you don't get any additional moisture in there. Alright guys so thank you for watching. Please like subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video.